Last week, the media reported that the Rudd government's first home savings accounts were fizzers. Banks and other businesses were uninterested in offering the product and there had been little demand from first home buyers. Nobody should be surprised that banks are unenthusiastic. These accounts must be open for a minimum of four years, so banks will be concerned that the housing market will cool even further, and so will their profit growth over those years due to a pullback in first home buyer activity. I think the lack of interest by first home buyers is appropriate for one major reason. The federal government has given no indication that it will remove the property investor tax rorts of negative gearing and capital gains tax concessions. Consider this, if you were in your late to early 50s, earning a good income as you do later in your career, looking for investments to build up your retirement nest egg, the go and the government continues to encourage you to speculate on housing by providing massive tax incentives, and you could see that a mass of young first home buyers would be saving diligently over the next four years and surging back into the housing market in late 2012, what would you do? If the investor tax rates stay, of course investors will be buying back into the market from late 2011 to cream the first home buyers. Even though house prices will fall until late 2011, this renewed interest by investors will send the price of houses significantly higher than their 2011 low point. In fact, I would expect that the price gain will be greater than the savings balance in those funds. Clearly, the way things are at the moment, investors will get all of the benefits of the hard-won savings of first-home buyers. I would, however, recommend that anybody in their late teens and 20s should seriously consider participating. Firstly, it actually is a good savings scheme. And secondly, I am optimistic that the Rudd government will, before long, do the right thing by young Australians and get rid of the property investor tax rorts. Thank you. www.geocities.com slash homes for Aussies Standing up for affordable housing for all Australians. Written and spoken by Dr. Brett Edgerton, founder of Homes for Aussies.